I'm showing your oatmeal. The seeds are on the top Look, today. seeds on the top. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty looking dish, isn't it? <laughs> My God. Just needs to be stirred up. And then this has to be put in it. Oh, the banana. Yep, absolutely. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you about um, vitamin D. Mm -hmm. um, it is a, a vitamin that we do supplement in the wintertime, but we don't supplement in the spring, summer, and fall. <coughs> Sorry. Nuts. A little choked up about that, apparently. Right. <laughs> and uh, here's why. Um, I, your skin can make vitamin D. It is better for you to you know, make your own vitamin D. But a lot of people, especially Americans that are in a working age, spend all their time in an office building. And so they're not making their own vitamin D. The other thing, and I learned this recently, and I thought it was really interesting, so I thought I'd share it with you. If at noon when you're outside, if your shadow is longer than three feet, the sun is too far away for you to make vitamin D effectively. Which is very interesting. Yeah. You said that to me the other day, and I, you know, she found that out. I'm like, I mean, it makes sense, right? I mean, if the sun's too far away, the, the rays aren't getting yeah, to you. Yeah, the, they're at the wrong angle. Right. And so if you go outside at noon and you, and you look at your shadow, if it's more than three feet long, you're not going to be able to make the vitamin D you need. Um, I mean, I guess if you stood outside all day, maybe you could. Mm. Um, so that, that's kind of the measure, I guess, of when you can stop supplementing is when is your shadow at noon less than three feet long? Right. So just bear in mind, if it's too short, you're not a groundhog. Just saying. <laughs> you are a weird human. <laughs> Um, but other than that, you can, you can make your own vitamin D. If you are lighter skinned, 10 to 15 minutes in the sun, um, more days than not with your legs and arms exposed is going to make enough vitamin D for you. So for us, because we do bike ride outside in the summertime, um, and you know, we get a lot, a lot of sun, it's fine. Now I will make this caveat. Do not get sunburned. Obviously, mm -hmm. being sunburned is not good for your skin. It is, uh, creates a cancer risk. Do not get sunburned. But as someone, I have had melanoma in the past. Um, it was not a big deal. They caught it. They removed it. It was literally the biggest problem for me was I had to spend six weeks in May not being able to ride my bike. Mm -hmm. That was the biggest issue. That's so not, not really a, a problem for me because I get regular skin checks because I know melanoma is something that my family does struggle with and I am fair skinned. Um, but after that, I was really scared of the, of the sun. Like I always wear sunscreen. I always wore long sleeve shirts. I was really afraid of the sun. And having gone plant-based, what I've learned is that A, being plant-based makes your body better at fighting you know, cancer, which you, you know, we've told mm -hmm. you that. We've before. told you that, yeah. Um, and also I've realized that it's not the sun and you know, the doses necessary to make vitamin D, it's the sun in really big doses where you get sunburned. Overexposure. Right? Overexposure. Hey, Chelsea, what are you saying? And you can wash off vitamin D if you take a shower after being out in the sun. Really? I had not heard that. No, I've not heard that either. Hmm. I thought it was something that your, your skin, like internal. internal. Yeah. So I'll have to look that up. Or if you have, if you have some science on that, uh, if you could share it with me, that'd be awesome. Um, but so spend some time outside. If you wear sunscreen, you're not making vitamin D. This, that sunscreen blocks uh, the rays necessary. If you're riding in a car, this is really interesting. You will get the rays that will sunburn you, mm -hmm. but the rays that um, make vitamin D get blocked by the glass. So riding in a car does not count. Which you, is bizarre. Which is, which is sad, yeah. right? Like it blocks the, blocks the good rays and gives us the ones that will sunburn us. So that's unfortunate. Um, you, and if, if you can't be outside, you absolutely can supplement. Um, we take, what do we, how much, do you know how much we take? Well, right now, the one we're taking is 5,000 um, international units, mm -hmm. and we take that three times a week. We just changed it. We were taking it twice a week, and then when I was doing some more research about it, we upped it a little bit. Um, so now we're, we're trying to remember to take it three times a week. It doesn't always minimum happen. Minimum twice. But yeah. a minimum of twice a week. And then we'll do that um, until we can bike ride outside. Some of the uh, research I've seen by some of the um, MDs out there that are in the whole the, the plant-based uh, space, space um, recommend 2,000 international units a day. Now, that's the average. So it's not like you have to do 2,000 a day. But like for we're taking 15,000 a week. Yeah. yeah so we're actually slightly over... Yeah. And vitamin D, it's an interesting thing. Vitamin D is not something that you just suddenly go deficient on because mm -hmm. it's not actually a vitamin. Um, I will look and when I get home. Great. Thank Great. you. Thank I appreciate you, that very much. Oh, Facebook doesn't want to let me see the next comment. Mm -hmm. Going to work out. Working out is very a good, good thing. We That's appreciate a good thing. that. Absolutely. Um, vitamin D is not actually a vitamin. We call it that, but it's not what it is. It's actually the precursor to a hormone that your body creates and needs. And your body does store some of it. 
So the interesting thing about measuring vitamin D in the blood is it doesn't really measure the hormone and like it's messy. Um, that's not to say it's not a good thing because if you're, you know, if they measure it and you're low, you should definitely take a supplement or spend more time in the sun when the sun is close to the earth. Um, but it's messy when, it, when they try to measure it because it's not actually a vitamin. It's not measurable the way vitamins are measurable, but it is something you absolutely need. And so it, it, you know, we, don't, we don't recommend a lot of supplements. You know, we, we always say vitamin B12. Everyone, absolutely. regardless of what their diet yeah, is, regardless. should be taking vitamin B12. Um, and if you're not spending time in the sun or it's too cold where you are, or the sun's too far away, vitamin D. Mm -hmm. The other thing too is uh, I know my doctor from uh, God, probably seven, eight years ago when I was living in New Jersey um, was talking to me about how vitamin D is like the um, fountain of youth. So there's, mm. there's research out there and I have none that I can actually share. You haven't read it. it. Right. You heard it from your doctor. That, heard it from my doctor that claims that, that they're starting to think that vitamin D is a way of keeping yourself more youthful looking and, and um, you know. So that's nice. just something to think about. Um, another group of people to think about, and it's something that um, I didn't occur to me, but it probably should have. People who um, live in, in um, assisted living, they tend to not go outside. They, you know, they literally live in the building they're mm -hmm. in all of the time and they're not getting vitamin D. There is only one plant that you can get vitamin D from and that is mushrooms. And they have to be mushrooms that have spent time in the sun. Mm. So not only do you have to eat mushrooms, you have to cook them, but they have to have been in the sun first. Right. So not growing in, the, in a room somewhere. And as you know, mushrooms typically grow in places that are shady. That's where mushrooms typically grow. And um, if they're grown, um, Commercially, they're grown in buildings, so they don't have vitamin D in them. And even if they, like, let's say, for example, you chop up your mushrooms and you put them outside and let them sit in the sun so they can make some vitamin D, the amount that you'd have to eat to actually get enough vitamin D is astronomical. Um, it's unlikely you're going to eat that you need many. A trough. You're not going to eat that many mushrooms. So um, spend time in the sun yourself. The lighter your skin is, the less time you need. Um, the darker your skin is, you may need up to a half hour. Mm -hmm. um, on a, most days to be able to uh, make the vitamin D your body needs. So if you have dark skin and you have a hard time getting out in the sun, you may want to supplement uh, more consistently throughout the year. Right. And again, the, the research that I saw is, is suggesting 2,000 international units a day is an average if you are supplementing. Um, so. Yeah, whatever that looks like. The other yeah. thing I would like to point out is that milk does, and we and obviously we do not recommend that you drink milk in general, but milk does not have vitamin D in it naturally. It no. is supplemented. Right. So um, that's not... That's, or fortified. Yeah, it's fortified. And you'll see orange juice is fortified with vitamin D and with calcium mm -hmm. and whatever. Again, not something we recommend because orange juice is a processed food. You get a lot of uh, calories and none of the fiber, but those things don't don't come with vitamin D naturally. It is fortified. Hey, Allison. Hey, Allison. Deborah's Good morning. Here too. Deborah. Um, breast milk does not contain vitamin D. Human, I think, what did I read? I did, oh no, that was iron. I'm not sure about um, breast milk and vitamin D. I know that it does contain more iron because if yeah. you got my newsletter today, I wrote about iron and babies that are fed breast milk get enough iron, but if you supplement your baby with cow's milk, they're not getting enough iron. Mm -hmm. And that's a problem, but that's a separate subject. That's right. not vitamin right. D. I don't, well, I mean, it was, it, and this is just speculation on my part, but if, if Cow's milk doesn't have vitamin D. I would think just general. That's I mean. General breast milk does not count. Not a not D. an unreasonable leap in logic. Right, right. I mean, then, if they're saying sun or um, mushrooms are the only two ways to get it, then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what I would recommend. Um, go out. So everybody, go outside at noon and look and see how long your shadow is, and right. you can determine uh, if you. And if you're in the northeast, you won't be going out there with your shirt off anytime soon. No, it's code. Yes. I saw it's supposed to be in the teens again next week, and mm -hmm. it made me want to cry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But it's getting there. We're at the end of March. I mean, yeah, at the end of February. I wish. No, um, end of so February. I'm looking so. for some 70 degree days in March. So let's all do our weather dances. Our sun dance. You know? Something. Da mm -hmm. No? <laughs> Do you have anything else you want to add? I think that's it. I'm trying to get goofy. You are. <laughs> you guys know that we have the Whole Food Muscle Club. You can go to rnrjourney.com slash join, which I actually put the link up in the description this time. So you can go there and you can join the r, &R the Whole Food Muscle Club at our website and get access to our meal plans for an entire year, our workout plans, um, our community page where we you know post stuff and answer questions, and our live Q&A that we do once a month. Have you picked the date for next month? I have yet? not, but I did post last month's uh, Q&A on the website. So those that remember, 
You can go into members, scroll down to uh, Q and A's, and you can rewatch if you didn't see it live the uh, Q and A from February. So that was posted, yeah. yeah. And I posted um, a really interesting article on the community page that has uh, ten recipes for foods that fight cancer. Mm -hmm. So if you're a member, you may want to go check that out on the community page. It's a really uh, I thought it was a really interesting article. Not I haven't tried any of the recipes, but I was like, oh, foods that fight cancer, that's fun. Yeah, it's awesome. So that's on the community page as well. Anything else? I think that's it. All right, make sure you like and share. Let other people know that we're here and what we're doing. And uh, we're trying to make people's health better with yeah. the, the Whole Food Muscle Club and the How to Feed a Human and the book that we're working on that's coming, coming out soon. So make sure you like and share. Yeah. And uh, join the Whole Food Muscle Club, as she said, because we want everybody to live long, healthy lives. That's Absolutely. our goal. That is actually our mission and why we started doing this is